how to change recoil and sway in single player and multiplayer. I'm going to share with you some code that you could use to adjust the recoil and sway in your missions based on your preferences. Before we do that, we need to create a little mission. So let's place down a player. I'm going to place down a rifleman. And then we're going to place down an auto rifleman. And then we're going to place down an rifleman AT. So we're going to highlight these two guys, right click them, and then we're going to go to attributes and then set them to playable. Now that we have this set up, we're going to save this and we're going to save it under virtual reality and we're going to name it weapon sway. Save that. And now what that'll do is it'll create a mission folder where we can create a script and put it into the folder. So let's go to the top left to scenario and then go down towards the bottom where it says open scenario folder and this should open the mission folder that we just created. We are in the mission folder weapon recoil and sway that VR which we just created. Here is the mission SQM and what we need to do now is we're going to start up a notepad document and we're going to put some code in here. Hit your enter key go down one line and we're going to start with a curly bracket go down one line and we're going to go over a couple of lines and then we're going to put underscore x space set unit with a capital u recoil with a capital r co e efficient with a capital c then space and then one and then semicolon then hit enter and bring your cursor so it's right about there the next line is going to be something similar it's going to be underscore x and then space set custom aim coef space one and then semicolon and hit enter right squiggly bracket and then hit enter again and then you're going to put for each space left circular bracket capital S switch a bowl units space the plus sign space left square bracket player right square bracket curved bracket and then semicolon so now we're going to go to file and then we're going to go to save as and then you're going to go to save as file type and you're going to set this down to all files then you're going to name this file init.sqf and then you're going to locate your mission before you save it locate your mission so my mission is going to be here, Arma 3, and it's in virtual reality, and it's down at the bottom here, weapon recoil and sway, and then you hit save. So what you have here is the INI.SQF. If you open it, before we get back in the mission, this code here sets the unit's recoil coefficient. Basically, you can adjust the recoil. Now, one is bottom level to where the recoil is very minimal. If you want a real high rec recoil, then you probably want to try 5 or 8 or even 10. If you set this to 0 like that, then you won't have any recoil at all. So let's put this at 5 and you can see what kind of recoil you have. And this code here the custom aim coef is for the weapon sway so sway here is very minimal if we put this at five that's you'll you'll notice you will notice a difference now this next line for here is switchable units plus player switchable units that means this code will work for playable units so when you're as a player when you switch to a playable unit then that playable unit will also have these uh, settings that you adjust so let's save that for a second and then uh, let's go back into the mission and then test this out. If you look at my character's gun, you can see that it's moving crazy. 
Now if I shoot the gun, you can see how crazy my shots are. They're just, they're just wild. And it sways a lot. So I mean, if you like that, then that's then that's basically what number you could use. Just remember that higher the number, the more the gun sways, the more the gun recoils. So you could adjust this to how you want. Now let's switch to one of these other units. Let's switch to the auto rifleman. And you can also see his gun is moving a lot too. And if he shoots his gun, and this is why he is, you could brace the gun. The recoil is still pretty crazy. If we switch to the other guy, you can see he has the same thing. Let's set this down to zero. And let's see what that does. Alright, if you look at my gun, you there's really no sway or anything at all. No recoil. You see his gun is not really moving. If we set this to like say one, save that, go back in the mission, this should give us a little bit of sway and a little bit of recoil. It's slightly moving. Just a little bit. If we shoot the gun, it's got a slight recoil to it. It's it's fairly comfortable. I mean you may want more, you may want less, you may want no recoil. But this is basically what it is. You can see the auto rifleman. The same thing. It's just a note. How would we do this for multiplayer? Multiplayer is a little bit different. For that is setting up a parameters that you could do in MP Lane. Multiplayer, we're going to remove the init.sqf and put another script in there but this script i'm going to share with you because there's too much code involved for you to you know sit there and type it out so i'm going to show you this script back in the mission folder and i removed the init.sqf and replaced it with a description.ext and an init player local.sqf now in the description.ext, what I want to show you here is the class parameters which create the parameters in multiplayer. So this code and on down is what we're concerned about. So let's go over them. This class here has to do with the weapon sway. So as you can see here, it says the title player weapon sway and then there's values for uh, zero through four. Here's the text to describe the values. If you have zero set, then you have no sway. If you have one set, then you have slight sway. If you have two set, then you have little sway. If you have three set, you have normal sway, etc. Default here, three means is three, which is normal. You don't even need to really mess with this other than maybe this number. If you wanted to like have your mission normally have slight sway or even no sway then you could just change this number and then when the mission starts you won't even have to mess with the mission parameters going down to the next one this has to do with the recoil and as the title says player weapon recoil just like the above one the values are zero one through four and each value has a corresponding text that goes with it. So zero equals no re recoils, slight recoils one, etc. And of course, here is the default. After this, uh, all this stuff you can ignore, but uh, it's it's part of it. I'll link it in the description of the video so you guys can download it and use the code and so forth. Let's take a look at the other script, init player local sqf. And with this code, this is kind of like a variation of what we had in the INIT. This is mainly specific for 
multiplayer. Let's take a look at the mission parameters themselves in game. Back in the editor, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a MP LAN server to take a look at these parameters. And choose our character, and at the top right, we have parameters. So, this is what you're going to see when you apply the parameter code. We have player weapon sway and player weapon recoil. We click on the sway by default normal sway which is number three in the code will be seen so let's put it on heavy sway just so that we can get an, an idea then we're going to go to player weapon recoil like the same thing it's going to be set at normal by default i'm going to set it on heavy recoil and then we'll go back and then we'll check it out let's take a look at the sway so as you can see this is the sway I don't know how you could hit anything like that, but... And the, uh... Recoil is pretty extreme. And we're gonna adjust this to no sway, just so you can see what this looks like without the sway. It's basically the opposite end. End of the spectrum. I'll see no movement. Back the parameters, set it to slate sway, slate recoil. It's got a very subtle sl sway to it, and a subtle recoil. Like I said, I will link the mission in the description of the video, and uh, you guys can check it out. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.